why it's just a top of the blue pecan computer training and in this video i'm going to show you how to extract text between characters in excel and we want to extract the brand name from these product descriptions you can see the brand name is within brackets but it doesn't matter whether it's brackets or hyphens or commas this method will work whatever i'm going to show you three methods first is with simple find and replace which is really quick second is with formulas more complicated and the third is with power query so find and replace what you do is you select your cells control h on your keyboard and what we want to do first of all is find what everything up to the first open bracket so what you do is you do star asterisk open bracket that basically means find what everything up to the open bracket replace with nothing replace all see what it's done there and then you want to replace everything including and after the close bracket also with nothing so replace all and there we are i'm left with the brand names this might be useful if you want your brand on its own to update if you change the product description you can do this with formulas a lot more involved there are three steps we're going to use three different functions find mid and left i'll eventually get the whole formula in one cell but it's useful i think to take these things apart to aid your understanding first job is to find the position of the open bracket that's what find will do finds the position of a text string within another text string find text an open bracket within this text string start number is not relevant so that gives me eight copy it down finds the position there and what I want to do is use the mid function to extract the text characters beyond position eight in the first instance anyway so mid so this is the text that I'm extracting from the start number is this plus one that I want to extract the open bracket number of characters it's different in each product description. If I said len, that's always going to extract more than enough characters, len being the total number of text characters within that cell B14. So it's going to be more than enough, but it's always going to be enough. I close the bracket again, and you can see what it does there. Copy that down. Got rid of everything before the first open bracket. The final function we're going to use is left. What we want to do with the left is extract all the text characters up to the close bracket. I'm going to use left to do that. There's my text string that I want to extract characters from. And the number of characters, when it's up to that close bracket, is find again. This time I'm finding the close bracket within this text not interested in start number so I can just close that bracket for find close the bracket for left if I press enter you can see it still includes that close bracket because it'll be the position of the close bracket minus one so I want to end on the S so there we are I can copy that down and it returns the brand what I want to do now is to get the whole formula in one cell rather than three different cells. I need to combine all these formulas into one place. What I'm going to do is start here. And you can see that mid is referring to this value here in C14. I'm going to put that find function, I'm going to copy it. I'm going to put it directly in mid. Now this formula doesn't need this formula. And then if I go to left, that's looking in D14. I'm going to replace that with my mid function. I'll copy that, paste it in there. I need to also put the mid function in there. And this now is completely independent of the other formulas. So if I delete C and D, you can see 
but also, although it's quite a long formula because we took it apart three different stages we could then easily combine it into one formula and that works really well that's a lot of hard work compared to what we were doing here but i guess the advantage is is that you know if this stuff was to change then this would automatically update if that's really useful to you now the third method is to use power query this may not be available in your version of excel it is in later versions of excel but the way i would use it here is i click somewhere in this data and then I'll go to data up here and in get and transform data, I'd click on from table and range, get this little dialog box says, where is the data for your table? And it asks you whether your table has headers, mine does. So I click on okay and it will launch Power Query for you. What I'd then do is I'd go to add column, extract text between delimiters. Then your start delimiter is your open bracket and your end delimiter is your close bracket you click on ok and it does it for you really really easily then you just say file close and load we'll put it on another sheet but you can see it's done the job for you okay that's all i wanted to cover in this particular video hopefully you found it useful please subscribe if you have and i'll see you next video